Okay, you guys, so happy Friday. Today is my favorite day of the week. Fridays are my favorite day of the week. And do you know why? Because it's a live bike boot camp with Cody Rigsby. My absolute favorite day of the week because I love a live class with Cody. I just love Cody. Um, it just, there's no other way to make your Friday any better than with a live Cody class. Like, come on. This is so cute. So this girl just high-fived me. Her name is No More Fat Amy. Hashtag Bad Moms Club. So No More Fat Amy if you see this. No more fat broccoli. What's up, folks? I'm the Pocket Insider of Big Speed. Welcome to your Friday night. Oh my gosh I love a live class y'all there's something about a live class especially a live class with Cody I love Cody Rigsby boo crew um, that was great um, it's definitely still challenging it's always gonna be challenging like if it's not challenging you it's not helping you or making you better so um, I'm really sore. One thing I've noticed this week compared to the previous like four weeks, I'm really sore this week. I'm not sure why. Um, I just feel like almost like, I almost feel like it's week one again, um, but not as, not as intense as week one, um, but definitely, definitely really, really sore. Um, so. That's good though. I would rather be sore than not be sore because that means I'm working. Okay. All right. So I was 1561 out of 2141. So, hey, I'm on the leaderboard. If I wouldn't have done it, I wouldn't be anywhere. So 
76 output, 90 average watts, 40% average resistance, 70 average cadence, three and a half miles, and 179 calories. Woohoo! That was a fun one. Okay, you guys, so I just got out of the shower and I was putting on these jeans and um, I've had these jeans for about a year and a half, almost two years now. And I was putting them on and they felt so kind of like for the first time, like really loose. Check this out. I didn't really notice it until I saw the back and it's so hard to see, but these used to be like skin tight on me and the back is like Bruh. there's like a lot of room back there it was like sticking out i don't know if you can see that but it was it's so loose let me try this way it might be easier they're just like they're getting so much looser and it's almost to the point i mean i can still wear them but like here, maybe that's what I did. So like when you sit down, like the back side, it's like puckering. And these used to be absolutely skin tight on me. And there's like this, oh, sorry. <laughs> this is tough. Um, there's like this gap now that used to lay flat against my back. Like that gap was not there. It's hard to see, but in person it's like, whoa. I've got like back divots now. <laughs> Crazy. All right. So, welcome to Le Jeep. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go into town, get a few things. So I wanted to see how this looks and see how it how it works, and we can uh, take little trips around town together. How fun would that be? So, right now, I am actually going to my gym because they have tanning beds. I don't really use the gym very often. If I'm bored or if I really want to do, like, I don't even know really a reason why I would want to go to the gym, especially when there's so much you can do at home and you don't have to drive, you don't have to deal with people. Um, it's just a great thing to work out at home. Um, I don't know why, I, I, I think I keep it just in case. Um, I keep my membership. It's pretty cheap. Um, it's not a huge deal. But I really keep it because, especially this time of year, um, I tan really easily in the summer, but I burn every year. And last year was really bad. So I was out in the sun all day and I got a really bad sunburn and my nose got swollen and I, it was actually like oozing. Like I know this is so gross, so feel free to fast forward if you don't want to hear about my, my awful skin burn last summer. Um, but my nose got so swollen that it was like oozing like pus or something through my pores. It was awful. It wasn't like bad, like bad, bad. Um, but it was enough to where it would like, it, it was like a weeping wound <laughs> and it only lasted for like a few hours um, and it stopped, but that was scary. And, you know, living on the lake, I'm in the sun all the time and every year I always get a really bad sunburn. So I figured this year I'm not going to do that. I know tanning beds aren't good for you, but they got to be better to do it gradually than to shock your skin like that and get a really bad sunburn because I tanned super easy and last summer I got so tan. Um, probably the tannest I've ever gotten before. And so in the winter, obviously I'm never in the sun and I don't, and so it just goes right back to super fair. And my skin, um, it just bounces back and forth. Like you would never know how tan I can get by how I look in the winter. So anyway, I'm, I really just want to go um, so I can get a base and then I'll stop. Like I'm not going to go all the time. It's just till I get a nice base tan 
so that way maybe I won't burn. Because I go from zero to a hundred by being inside all winter and then I'm spending like days in the sun and I get super bad sunburn so I figure this has to be better for my skin to do it this way. Because regardless I'm going to be out in the sun in the summer there's just nothing like that I can do about that like it just it happens and sunscreen does not work. I'm sure the really powerful stuff works, but I don't um, have the ability or like the mental fortitude to apply it enough to where it's effective because it rubs off in the water and I just forget to reapply it. So I figure if I go into summer with the base, I'll be much better off. I might be able to get right in because you can't sign up for tanning um, beforehand. You have to be here, and then if there's nothing open, you have to wait. This looks this looks very promising. So I will see you when I get back. This is the craziest thing. So I'm here tanning. I just broke the bed. I went to lay down. And the bed broke. It literally broke. I don't understand this. It's true that it broke. The bed is broken. I'm losing weight and I just broke the tanning bed. So, since I broke the tanning bed, they put me in a hex. So I have to stand up. Which is fine. But man, I broke the tanning bed. I cannot believe I cracked that tanning bed. It was the weirdest thing. I just, I went to lay down and it felt kind of mushy. Like, obviously I can tell now because I know what happened. Like that center little support was not up and down. It was kind of like kicked off to the side. I went to lay down and it kind of gave a little bit, like I could feel the acrylic kind of sagging and then it just went snap, like really loud. I just snapped this tanning bed, like literally, I just broke the tanning bed. I've been losing weight and I broke the tanning bed. Joining our group is Coco. <laughs> As she's running, hi Coco, hi Coco. Look how cute you are. Hi, Coco. She's a Bichon Frise. I don't know if that's how you say it. And a Maltese mix. So she's super cute. Rufus is uh, taking a dump. I always catch them when they're taking a dump. <laughs> so we're just hanging out. It's not as warm as it could be. It's been warmer, but hey, it's getting there. Hey, Rufus. <laughs> so if you're enjoying my videos, I upload multiple times a week. Uh, subscribe so that you can track my progress and follow along with how I'm doing, what I'm up to. There's always something going on in my everyday life and I promise to keep it interesting with both fitness and real life stuff. So hit that subscribe button and thanks for being here.